Hi, I'm Jenny Lazarus, a second grade teacher at Pars Ridge Elementary School. In second grade, we teach children how to add and subtract two-digit numbers within a hundred. We focus on place value methods to help them solve these types of problems. This develops a deeper understanding of numbers and creates flexible thinkers. The, the strategy I'm going to teach you today is called decomposing, and we use it to help us subtract. Decomposing is when you think about the number in its expanded form, in terms of how many tens, or what the value of the tens is, and the value of the ones. So let's take a look at a problem. The first problem we're going to do is 68 minus 32. So I want to show you with math tools first, to show where the place value comes in. For this problem, a child would think 68. That's 60 and 8, or 6 tens and 8 ones. Then they would decompose the other number, 32, and think, I have to take away 30, and I have to take away 2. Here's taking away 30, and taking away 2. And the answer is 36. Let's see how it looks on paper. So the child has the problem, 68 minus 32. First, they decompose the whole. They think 68, that's 60 and 8. And they know they want to take away 32, that's 30 and 2. First, they take away the tens. 60 minus 30. 60 minus 30 is 30. Next, they subtract the ones. I have eight ones, and I'm taking away two ones. Eight minus two equals six. And the answer is 36. Now let's take a look at a problem that's regrouping. Because we know the regrouping problems are the challenging problems for two-digit subtraction. So the problem we're going to focus on is 73 minus 46. Let's look at it with math tools. The child would say 73. That's 7 tenths and 3 ones. And then they would take a look at what they're taking away. 46 is 40 plus 6, 4 tens and 6 ones. And they look at their problem and they think, oh my gosh, I can't do this problem. I only have 3 ones and I need to take away 6 ones. Well, that's where the regrouping comes in. Because we want children to be flexible with their place value knowledge. We want them to understand that, yes, 73 is 70 and 3. But you can also decompose 73 a different way. You can take one of the tens from 70 and give it to the ones. Now, instead of thinking of it as 70 and 3, I think of it as 60 and 13. Still equals 73. Now I have what I need to take away my 40 and my 6. I take away 40 and I take away 6 and my answer is 27. Now let's see what it looks like on paper. So once again they decompose 73 to see I have 70 and 3. 46 is decomposed into 40 and 6. They look at the problem and they think, uh-oh, this is going to be a problem. I can't do 3 minus 6, so I need to think about this number differently. I'm going to take a 10 away from 70 and make it 60. I'm going to give the 10 to the 1s and make it 13. Now I have a problem I can do. 60 minus 40 is 20. 13 minus 6 is 7. And my answer is 27 and that's decomposing to subtract. Thanks.